So you can change the way your armor looks in Elden Ring. It might not make a huge difference to your day-to-day -day experience whilst playing, but it certainly can look cool. Not only does it change the appearance though, the stats will also change slightly. This is not something that you can do immediately though, there are a few steps that you need to take first. So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the process of acquiring the items needed to do this, and then I'll even show you a way to alter your armor for free. So let's get into it. Unfortunately for style conscious players, altering your armor isn't something that you can just do straight away. There are in fact a couple of items needed in order for this to be possible, being the tailoring tools and the sewing needle. Fortunately though, both of these items are found together. You'll need to start at the Church of Ella in Limgrave and head west towards the cliff face. If you follow my route here, you can hop down this ledge and then onto this ruin. I would advise picking up a torch for this as the cave you're going to be entering is very dark. Before the cave though, there is a valuable item that you'll want to obtain. Make your way down the beach, taking out the demi-humans that are gathered by these rocks. Now keep going until you reach the end of the beach and there will be some golden footprints walking around in the sand. This is an invisible creature that will drop you in ashes of war. The pattern of where it moves doesn't change, so learn where it will go next and stand there to attack it when it's close to you. This isn't part of the required route to get the items, but it's well worth picking up while you're here. Now head back to where you originally dropped down on the coast, and there'll be a cave opening just a bit further down. Enter here and activate the Sight of Grace for the coastal cave. This is where you'll need that torch, so light it up and move on through. There will be a few demi-humans to take out here too, but none too challenging. Once you clear out this opening, there will be a passageway leading to a bigger one. Make sure you're ready for a fight though, as this is a boss battle. Don't worry too much though, as you can summon an aid on the floor by the door who will help you do this quickly if you just want the items and to be on your way. There's actually two bosses when you walk through, which makes this very tricky. They also have demi-humans helping them that will attack you as well, so be wary. Try and focus on one of the demi-human chiefs at a time, and double team them with the aid. They won't be too challenging to kill as most of your hits will stun them, allowing you to either hit again or dodge straight away afterwards. You can use ranged weapons, but you should be fine just light attacking them to be honest. Once they are felled, you will receive the two items that we're after, and you're pretty much done. Now you can head to any site of grace and alter your armor from here. It will cost you runes to do this though, so make sure you really like the new design before committing. If you're frugal and don't like wasting runes like me though, there is a way to do this for free, but it takes a little while longer. Head to the Akeel Lake North site of grace and travel southeast towards the stone bridge. Before you get there though, take a left and walk near these trees. You'll hear someone asking for your assistance. Hit this small brown tree here and it will change into a demi-human, but this one's friendly. His name is Bok, and he's been kicked out of the coastal cave by the other demi-humans and been turned into a tree. If you keep talking to him, he'll give you 10 mushrooms for rescuing him, but then we'll decide this reward isn't quite enough. He wants to sneak back into the coastal cave to retrieve the sewing needle, which of course you already have. If you now fast travel back to the coastal cave, you'll see him lying next to the site of Grace in quite bad shape. Turns out he tried to retrieve the needle but got badly beaten up in the process. Now you can reveal to him that you've obtained the needle and he'll be delighted, but unfortunately won't offer you anything right now. So on to the final part of the guide which involves making your way through Stormvale Castle. But don't worry, you don't actually have to go through it. If you travel to the Stormhill Shack, you can make your way up the road here and veer off to the right. If you keep going through these bushes, you'll come out at another path leading to a bridge. Go over the bridge and follow the path all the way round and back up to the cliffside. The next stretch is pretty straightforward. Follow the path all the way round until you reach the opening. Here you'll see a site of grace which you can rest at, and Bok will be sat right next to it. He's been waiting here for you and can now offer you something very useful. Free alterations of your armour. Go ahead and talk to him and there you have it. Now you can return to him with any armor you want to change and not have to pay a single rune. So that was our guide showing you how to alter armor in Elden Ring. If this video helped you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video.